more plus and own your future this exam season. BioPlus for physical energy and mental vitality. Thank you so much, Carl. Very informative indeed. Now, it is a Tuesday, and we choose to be healthy this morning, as uh, this morning we're about to unlock another piece of the puzzle of success. And today's informative discussion will share not only delicious, healthy recipes, but advice from our panel of incredible experts, Chef Teresa and also dietitian Kate Stanley. Good morning, and welcome to the Espresso Kitchen. Morning. Lovely morning. to have you. <laughs> yes, lovely yeah. to have you. I'm glad we're talking about this, because diet forms mm -hmm. such a big part of being healthy. I don't need to tell you this, uh, <laughs> Kate. <laughs> but it is amazing. So, so we're going to, let me just first unpack what we're going to be making, yes. Teresa. We are going to be doing some fish cakes today. This is a lovely dinner option. We're going to use pilchards yes. and then uh, veggies, and I'll show you how to put that all together. Yeah, and it's all easily accessible ingredients, and it's a budget friendly Absolutely. meal as well. Absolutely, that's what we all love at the moment. All so, right. we're going to start with our pilchards. Just remember to check for bones, depending on which brand you're using, and shred it with a fork. Nice small bits so it yeah. doesn't fall apart in the pan. Love it. Okay, so and then you're going to start, start with the egg in there. Everything. So while you start mixing, I want to chat about the fact that we always hear, you know, that saying, you are what you eat. Let's unpack that a little bit. Um, when it comes to a, a balanced diet and what does it look like and the addition of vitamins and minerals. Kate, maybe you can elaborate. Yes, sure. So I think the best way to explain it is if we consider ourselves, the body, like a car. If you have a car, you want to put in premium fuel. You want to make sure that the oil and the water is checked on a regular basis. So There's that a lot of similarities, let me just say, <laughs> between your car and your body. <laughs> then you get that maximum performance. Yeah. And much like the body, you want to make sure that these are the things that are actually going in. Are we getting our vitamins? Are we getting our minerals? Are we getting our omega-rich fatty acids? Are we getting our macronutrients, our carbs, proteins, and fats? And if we get all of that and we get that in that balanced format, so we get the best performance out of our systems. Mm. There are certain situations like high stress with our students yeah. where they will um, naturally have a higher um, excretion of things like vitamin B and vitamin C mm. um, just based on that cortisol response, that stress level that yeah. sort of builds up. And so maybe at times there are needs for extra supplementation. Absolutely. We're going to get into the students specifically because it is exam time at the moment. Teresa, talk us through what you've been doing there. Right. So I've so added some breadcrumbs and some egg. Those are our binders that are okay. going to keep the fish cakes together. I've also added some onion, some parsley, and some salt and pepper. And mm. if you're making this, especially for the kids, you can actually add extra veggies. So some grated carrots, some mm. grated courgette, potato, just to, you know, up the vitamins a little bit. Just be sure to squeeze your vegetables to get all the extra moisture out because you don't want soggy uh, fish, fish cakes. cakes. No, no, no. No, we don't want that. So the mixture's done. I'm going to shape them into patties and fry them on the pan. Okay. It really is so quick and easy. But and essentially, you can eat it just like that. But you don't want to. <laughs> you want you to want give it some heat. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. It's going to improve it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you mentioned our students and vitamins, Kate. Mm. Um, you know, it is exam time, and we want our, our kids to function optimally. Mm. Um, so, so when it comes to diet, how does it affect brain function? I guess it comes down to what that feel is. Yeah. Um, you know, students are notorious for wanting to have takeaways or quick on-the-go meals, yeah. and these are often full of refined carbohydrates or processed nutrition. And so you don't necessarily get that best brain fuel. Yeah. So if we are swapping that over to things that are omega-rich or things that are packed with a punch in terms of good vitamins and minerals, then you land up actually helping with the memory, concentration, all of the things that are yeah. cognitively important. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we are talking about brain food here, yes, Teresa. Well, and something go. like this fish. is a great addition. Fish, totally. right? And not exactly. just for dinner, you could have it as a quick snack. Yes. Um, it's really, really great and so easy to make. And you can prepare this mixture ahead of time, actually, and even shape the fish cakes, pop them in the fridge, and just fry them when you're ready. That is amazing. Yeah, Super so easy. I think we all know that Omega three is a, is, a, is a great addition to your to your diet as brain food. Absolutely. So it's got a, a huge amount of um, um, anti-inflammatory um, inside of mm. them and that, that is something that actually squashes things that are like free radicals or your oxidative stress yeah. that you get from stresses. Yeah. Um, and so these are the things that we want to include. We also want to try and bring in things like flavonoids which are um, a really nice antioxidant. Yeah. Um, that's also really important for brain food. And things like your green leafy veggies, which are available and freely, um, sort of freely available and um, quite reasonable in cost. So your, your broccoli, your spinach, your kales, if you go that far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Look, that's that's amazing. I mean, that's. I hope you've been paying attention because there's so much. Um, just before we, I know Teresa's doing a great job, but just a quick sauce. We have <laughs> some. Good. What do we have here? Gherkins. So some a gherkins. Diced gherkins. We've got some mayo and some tomato sauce. Okay. Nice easy sauce. If you like a bit of heat, you can add a pinch of chili powder, but that's completely optional. Righto. Well, and I would so I would add some chili. <laughs> yeah, I think because a fish in a chili does lacquer. Goes nicely. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Mix it all together and serve it on the side of the Awesome, and there we have Delicious. the finished product just like this. Mm -hmm. uh, Teresa, okay, thank you very much for joining us and giving yeah. some valuable insights. I know that it is a very stressful time for especially students this time of the year um, going into the exam. So good luck and make sure that you really take care of your diet. Get those macros and micros in <laughs> like Kate unpacked it for us and try these fish cakes. The recipe is on our website, expressoshow.com. Now, today we learned about eating for success and thanks to Bioplus, you get to uh, be a double winner with a delightful recipe and 2,000 Rand up for grabs. So what you can do is head on over to the Expresso social pages right now and this is exactly how you enter. A go-to for physical energy and mental vitality when you need it most. BioPlus is going one better, offering six viewers the chance to each win 2,000 Rand cash to own their future. Catch Expresso weekdays from November the 6th to November the 22nd and reply to the competition post on Expresso's socials and include the hashtag BioPlus exam. Competition closes November the 22nd, T's and C's on expressoshow.com.